Hey YouTube world, it's me Evelyn. Welcome to Hashtag Smack Your Lip, the series where I taste and or prepare beverages and or foodstuffs and share my thoughts on them. Yes, there is a separate YouTube channel that I recently created called Smack Your Lip. No, there are no videos on there as of yet. Mind your business. This installment of Hashtag Smack Your Lip is a fundraiser. So if you want more information on what we doing, what we working towards, go ahead, visit the pinned comment or the video description box where future Evelyn will fill you in. I'm coming to you in the spirit of summertime by any means necessary. I know we're all in the house uh, and summer is gonna look a little bit different but it's okay. So we can take part, you know, dibble and dabble in some refreshments still, you know, hydration doesn't just go away in a pandemic. So I wanted to do my part for science, okay? And review some new summertime flavors of LaCroix sparkling water. You should watch my previous two, I believe, LaCroix Smack Your Lip episodes. Get a good feel for what you're, you know, about to experience. We are only reviewing three new flavors in this particular installment. So it's gonna be a little bit of a quick one, but I think it will help you. I can help guide you, okay? Think of me as your sparkling water sommelier, all right? Uh, Google it if you're not classy enough to know what that is. <laughs> Okay, here we have hibiscus LaCroix. They spelled it hibiscus, not just hibiscus. So let's see what it's giving us. Hmm, oh, it's a no. Whoa, it's giving me fruit roll up mixed with body splash for a 12 year old. You know, the box sets of body splash. <laughs> from like CBS. There's something about it that's uh, edible Play-Doh, uh, DIY vegan Play-Doh <laughs> for the kids at home, you know what I mean? And I would flavor it with like the essence of a whisper of berries, then this, this would be it. I'm not gonna grab this if I'm particularly parched, but it's not disgusting. There's something, there's just something waxy about this. I don't, I don't know what it is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's giving me ever so slight uh, double bubble gum, is that what it's called? It's the one that's like this big and it's like chalk and you like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you have to chew it, loses its flavor in approximately 45 seconds. That's what it's giving me. Lip smackers, that's what it is. I was trying to figure out the Play-Doh mixed with fruit, and what is that? Chapstick. It's giving me berry chapstick. Hibiscus. Oh, oh, oh. I'm a little nervous for this one. Um, here we have pastec. This is supposed to be watermelon. Now, could be fuego if it's giving you ripe juicy watermelon. If it's giving you like the part of the watermelon right before the, the lined, <laughs> right before the rind, um, where it's flavorless, where um, it's just like crunch and crust, then it's gonna be a no. So I'm hoping it's giving us juicy, it's giving us agua frescas, you know what I mean? Um, they add a lot of azúcar to them agua frescas. So let's see what it looks like in the sparkling, in the sparkling water. Bottoms up. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh no. How does a drink taste ashy? Oh no. It's still giving me that clay, that petroleum jelly, that chapstick type aftertaste. Don't ask me how I know what chapstick tastes like. Don't ask, don't ask me how I know. It's watermelon, but it's giving me, you know them um, strawberry candies? that are in uh, grandma's church purse. You know the ones I'm talking about? I don't even know where you buy them. I've never actually seen them in packaging for sale. This is what it tastes like if you just lick the wrapper and throw away the candy. <laughs> 
and throw away the candy. Why do I wanna say this tastes like watercolors? Like, I, I don't know. There's something art supply about this one too. I'm so disappointed in this one. But I will say watermelon is one of the flavors in general that has to be like amplified with, the, with sugar. That's what makes watermelon taste good is the ripeness and having a lot of sugar content in the watermelon. And if it don't have sugar, it kind of just tastes like Pedialyte. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just giving you hydration, but not like fun. Wow, zero out of 10. This is like a two out of 10. This is a zero out of 10 solo dolo. Maybe mixed with something else to give it a little effervescence, you know what I mean? Maybe it would give you something, you know, delightful and summertime vibey. But when I drink these, all it makes me want is the San Pellegrino juice, sparkling juice drinks. You know what I mean? I want the real, the real version with the flavor on it. It tastes so ashy. <clears throat> and finally, we have Limoncello LaCroix Sparkling Water. I have high hopes for this one, that it will be refreshing, it'll be delicate, it'll be uh, crisp, okay? Uh, unlike the lip smackers and ashy watermelon that I tried before. Okay, okay. <clears throat> This tastes like icing. It tastes like it's giving me lemon icebox cake, okay? It's not quite refreshing because there is that vanilla creamy, there's a creaminess to it. Definitely tastes better than what we tried before, but if there was a such thing as vanilla Sprite, this is what that is. Which makes it taste like a Glade plug it in. Yep, mm-hmm. Fresh, but comforting. Citrus, vanilla. Interestingly enough, it's not giving me uh, sunscreen. It's not giving me tanning lotion. It's just giving me a sweet candle. I mean, it could be body butter. This could, this is kind of giving me a little Carol's Daughter. It's giving me just a, just a tinge of Carol's Daughter. You know, it's giving me ice cream sandwich, gour gourmet. It's giving me a little bit of a gourmet ice cream sandwich. Definitely a great mixer. I would say, to, you know, make a little summertime cocktail, a little fizziness incorporated. That's kind of good. That's kind of innovative whenever you think about it. That's kind of innovative. This definitely doesn't taste like any other flavor of LaCroix or any other flavor of sparkling water that I've ever tried, but it's good. I like this one. I'm not in love with it, but I like it. So I'll give it a, um, it's a strong six out of 10. It's a, I'm giving it a six out of 10. That's it for this episode of Hashtag Smack Your Lip. I hope my uh, deep dive into these three summertime newish flavors from LaCroix kind of gave you a good idea of what to expect. Maybe it swayed your decision on which flavors you should try out this summer as you are staying at home, uh, partying indoors, uh, please. If you've tried any of these flavors, go ahead and leave your review in the comments below and I will see you on the internet somewhere. Bye. Engine get your rocket. It sound like a thunder rocket. Yeah. I still love my baby even when it's toxic. Crazy like she been but no she on shade and I don't know. Russell was away.